Correct me if I'm wrong, I think chip tune music is electronic music that you make with the help of like sound chips or synthesizers in vintage arcade machines. Yeah, yeah. Computers, computers or video, and, uh, game, video consoles. game consoles. Right. And um, you started making a name for yourself, and I'm giving you information about yourself, which is kind of weird, yeah, but, but I'm thinking the, you are a little bit. I know. People watching. <laughs> um, you started making a bit of a name for yourself, quite one actually, when you started releasing music in early. 2017, I believe, yeah. um, made entirely on Game Boys. Yeah, yeah, that's where I started. And it sounds, when, when I thought, okay, chip tune music is great, I have this great image in my head, like, like a great keyboard setup with a, say, a piano, a synthesizer, an organ, and this great pinball machine, but <laughs> 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 apparently yeah. that's not how it works. I mean, um, it can. There's also people like really using Commodore things. computers. And uh, yeah, having big grey uh, computer you later machines. in the car park. We need but to talk about uh, that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I mean, I can describe the music in, in many, many ways. Um, but actually, when you hear it, um, you'll know exactly what you're talking about. It's very uplifting electronic music, I find. You have actually integrated some much more uh, modern uh, production tools in your setup. Yes. Now, you've brought the Game Boy, which I'm quite happy about. This is a monologue, this is a mini log XD, a Volca FM, and what looks like Ableton Push. Yeah, which I use right. to like sequence um, my setup and send yeah, note data, MIDI data to everything. Okay, so this is basically where it all goes together. Yes. Basically. The steering wheel. Well, um, I've seen some of your performances on, on YouTube. I love the music. I grew up, I was well, born in the 80s, grew up as, as far as I could in the 90s, and um, I mean, I love the bloopy sounds, they take me back, but it's not old music. It's not even, I wouldn't call this vintage music. It's brand new music, it's, but it it's just contains these, these lovely bloopy elements that we all like. In the first bar, you're going to know what I'm talking about exactly, so there's, there's no point describing it. I'm going to stop talking now, let you perform a bit, and then you're going to talk us through your little set up here. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to that. This is Vault Kid. Yeah, all thanks yours. a lot. Um, yeah, so I have a, a couple of songs uh, I'm going to play for you. And uh, the first one's actually not chip tune, but there will be a lot of uh, chip tune elements and Game Boy usage uh, later. Uh, first, I'm going to start with a more hip hop kind of um, track. And yeah, I'm just going to pull up my uh, headphones and get started. Okay.
Also. That's your applause. That's all you get for applause. <laughs> awesome. So this is this is Vault Music. We've had a few things come in actually, a few requests. They all concern this machine. Okay. Right. Sure. Um, I just need a sip of water. Absolutely. So I'm I'm going to just, I'm going to um, bridge this. Chores. Oh. Sorry. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, I think actually what we'd all like to know. Um, I feel I feel 20 years younger, by the way. Yeah. Just for the music, which is great. Thanks. Um, what we'd all like to know is how do you get to the sound chip of this machine? Somebody wanted to know whether it's like hooked up to the, your laptop, which I think it isn't. Yeah, it's directly. It's, it's yeah, it's indirectly. So, um, like everything I have here is uh, like going out of the computer via MIDI through like a MIDI splitter thing, and it's also going into um, this device, which is a uh, um, like modded four-play adapter. Um, it's called uh, Arduino Boy. Uh, you can find it like a manual how to build something like this um, in the internet. Or in, I think they're even like hobby modders who uh, built that thing. And so what it does is I can, I've plugged it into my Game Boy Link port. And there's software that some hobbyists uh, program so that the Game Boy can read the MIDI data from like any sequencer of your choice. And I play that back on uh, the sound chip of the Game Boy, which has fantastic sounding square I know, waves. We, we all know them, don't we? Uh, great. So how do, you, how do you access that? What's, what's in there? Is that Tetris? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's, um, <laughs> you know, really? <laughs> uh, so I have a, like a, some special cartridge here. This is right. a Benven, um, yeah, Benven card, like it's from an Australian uh, like modder, hacker kind of guy. And this has a micro USB port, uh, like right. a slot, so I can. So I downloaded some uh, software which some hackers made uh, for making music, and I yeah, just put that on a SD card. Sounds barely legal, but keep going. Keep no, going. it's like it, it, I think this could run Tetris, but I think you would uh, value, value, uh, violate some uh, Nintendo copyright with that. So right. I'm not doing yeah, that. I'm only using no, it for no. music. No, no. That's awesome. How did how did all this start? Because, I mean, for me, it's easy. I can always say I'm a keyboard player and I mm -hmm. play keyboards. Are yeah. you, I mean, how did you get into music? Was it a Game Boy or was it a guitar? <laughs> what, what was first? <laughs> um, so actually, uh, so I, I made uh, music with just a Game Boy for quite a while, uh, some years ago. But even before I started with um, producing music, because um, back then, was, when I was in high school, Skrillex uh, got big and like a VG and Fox right. Pavilion. And so um, I started making really shitty dubstep music. But Says that who? didn't, <laughs> that did, didn't uh, get anywhere, really. And then, yeah, I started making music with the Game Boy. And, um, yeah, I, I, like, I like video games. Like, the Game Boy was my first uh, console uh, back then. Instrument. Uh, yeah, <laughs> even before it was an instrument for me. Wow. Yeah, but okay. for sure, like, this, this button layout and like this, this whole gamepad feeling. I had got that before I started playing violin on, and keyboard later. Okay, so you did do that too, though? Yeah, okay. yeah, I, I, so I, I um, got sent to music uh, uh, lessons because they're uh, half Asian. What, is, that <laughs> is that really okay, is that the criteria? Wow. But I think like, I haven't practiced in a while. I was joking, I'm probably like the worst keyboarder of all the people performing today. Even build. like the moderator is a proper keyboarder. <laughs> well, we could maybe, let's have maybe we could have the session later on, like in the car. Yeah, maybe, park. I can, maybe you can give me some lessons because I haven't played properly uh, outside of my own music for oh, quite a while. Just you know, one afternoon and you, you're you're on it. That's amazing. So you've released quite a lot of music. I've seen performances yeah. of yours just with the Game Boy, and it looks uh, just really j joyful. So. Mm -hmm. At the Gamescom, for example. Yeah. You're a you're a gamer. Would you describe yeah, yourself I, as a yeah, gamer? Yeah, I play play games daily. So you're video video game related, and you're music related. Yeah. That's also a way of you know synthesis. Yeah. It's great. I'm just going to check if people have any more questions for you, but you're going to be sticking around in case anybody wants to know anything. Um, sure. You also have the FM in there. Mm -hmm. um, how is it all connected? To, um, who has the pulse in this? Uh, so the master clock 
and like all the yeah all the notes. I don't really have um, the the synths that are synced by like clock or okay. CV or MIDI or anything. It's really just like um, the computer is outputting all the notes uh, to the synthesizers. Oh. <laughs> uh, so right. um, yeah, it works. It works that way. Uh, except for the Volca, I played that live. They they don't have the MIDI plugged in here. So okay, so it's not running on. Yeah, I could have done that, but um, yeah, I, I wanted to play something live, and I felt like there was a simple uh, kind of thing. And I also like I don't know probably because I always liked playing on handheld consoles, but I like quirky little devices to play with. <laughs> well, yeah. I and mean, I mean the Volca. They don't I, look that dissimilar. I have my batteries either, inside. I like it's possible to just plug it and like put it in your bag and you if you have a bus train. raid uh, you can just pull it out and fiddle uh, around with the melodies so well uh, yeah it's i mean it's, it's portable I, I, it's one of the great advantages of them they're really portable yeah. i mean you might get arrested for that on the bus it looks yeah. a bit dangerous but, but i bet some people were wondering why dude you have like why are you playing keys on this thing when you have like a like full size keyboard right next to it <laughs> but that's well, what i like i guess and that's what i yeah i like to do today Video console fingers, that is. Yeah, game of fingers. Awesome. So I highly recommend you check out this man's YouTube channel. You've got a SoundCloud page. Uh, yeah, Where would yeah. you like people to go to? Where would you like people to? Oh, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm uh, at I am on, on Twitter. And yeah, my music is on Spotify. I haven't done that much YouTube content, really. But um, yeah, follow I've me. I've seen a lot you of can, you on you it. Can, <laughs> yeah, but it's not on my channel. I think if yeah, you right. uh, like put it all kit in the search bar, uh, you find some stuff. But um, some great live yeah, performance actors. You, you play this live quite a lot, don't sure. you? I've yeah. seen. A, like, do you have? A, is it your real brother or, or yeah, somebody yeah. else's brother? Yeah, it's my brother. Played with? I played uh, set with my brother too, where he's playing some live keys. Awesome. Um, to this kind of music, yeah. Great. So that was it. Was great meeting you. Quite inspiring to go through your setup with you. This was Vault Kit. In just a couple of minutes, I am going to uh, speak to a band. Well, actually, are they a band? It's an orchestra, but, uh, right? They're an orchestra, but all they, they use they are little Volkers. They say so. Their, their name sounds a bit like um, it sounds a bit like a Quentin Tarantino movie. They're called the Volca Massacre Orchestra, mm -hmm. and. Um, I'm going to speak to them. They're in Switzerland. I'm going to talk to them in just a couple of minutes. And then uh, we take it from there.